Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Konami thought they could stop me FDKing folk by banning Steam, Bulb, all the fun cards, but no, Gazelle is still literally an FDK. So let's get right into it. This is going to be a, a rehash from my older videos, and you know how it goes. Uh, the only difference this time from the FDK is that, you, you know the drill, summon Gazelle, get Spinny, make Cherubini, but then what are we sending off Cherubini? So instead of sending Graf and then summoning Seer, we're actually going to be sending... Carboneddon off of uh, Cherubini, and then we're going to be bashing Carboneddon to summon Flanville Garden. That'll be really important for later because we don't have steam anymore. Anyway, next of all, we go Needle Fiber to summon Jet Sinkar now because way uh, Bulb and uh, Steam are banned, so we have to. Next best thing is Jet Synchron, so let's we summon that instead. Then we summon Equimax, Equimax into Magius. Then we're discarding a card for Jet Synchron, and then we're going to be using Maggie's as effect to search Draco from our deck to our hand. Next, we're going to be linking two into Spatha, and then summoning our Draco to the zone Spatha points to. Linking Draco into LP, LP gets moved by Spatha. LP effect summons Brotar from our deck, discarding a card from our hand, adding Absolute or Dragon from our deck to our hand. Another slight difference now is that we're summoning Pisty in this zone. You might be thinking that's a bit weird, but we're also going to be using another new card. This sick, sick card. Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman, this card's absolutely insane in all these different dragon decks, just because it's a generic Link 2 dragon that is completely generic, it just needs two monsters to make, and that's so, so good. And its effect's like, fine if you're playing an actual Buster Blader deck. Next, we're going to be using Pissy to bring back our Brotar just for the extra Link material. Then we're going to be making Striker Dragon to add Boot Sector Launch from our deck to our hand. Next, we're going to be turning Pissy and Protector Whelp into Romulus. Romulus will add Ravine from our deck to our hand. We're going to activate Ravine, discarding Absolute Rooter, sending World Legacy Guard Dragon from our deck to our grave, banishing World Legacy Guard Dragon to bring back Guard, activating Boot Sector Launch, summoning Tracer from our deck, linking Flanville Guard into Link Karibo, that's also quite important. Tracer Effect will summon Shell Rocket Dragon from our deck, and then you know how it goes. Oh, we can summon our uh, our Muddy Mud Dragon through main monsters on now, thanks to Master Roll 5, isn't that so neat? Next, we're going to be using the effect of Muddy Mud Dragon, fusing the two our two Dragon Link monsters, and itself to make Cyber Clock Dragon. Cyber Clock Dragon will mold the top three cards of our deck. Then we're going to be linking into Clock Lizard. And then, watch the magic happen. Clock Lizard effect, banishing every Link monster from our graveyard. So that adds up to 20 Link rating. And then we're going to be milling our entire deck with Cyber's Clock Dragon. Because we have 20 cards left in our deck. And we get to mill 20 cards with its effect. Next, we're going to be banishing three Moki Mokis. Summoning Lavinier, bring back Catapult Turtle, and then slamming them in the face for 11,250 damage. Bang, bang. And they're still dead. Konami still can't stop me from FDKing. Yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's basically the exact same one because I can't think of any new content. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that is. Bye.